How to create columns in Canva. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you how we can add columns and rows on Canva and be able to add uh, elements to them. So it is actually very easy and simple to do, yet there are two different ways to do so actually. So we can just go ahead and get started by adding a new blank design and we can just go ahead and start from there. So I'm just going to create a new design. I'm just going to go for um i'm not sure which size to be honest i'm just going to, i'm just going to go for an uh an a4 size so anyways the two different ways you can actually add columns um are very simple the first one is actually going to be by adding uh, some text and you want to add slash so you would want to oh sorry about that i'm not sure how that happened so, uh, like I said, the first one would be with uh, the slash commands. I'd probably set text or something, but uh, all you need to do is just go ahead and hit slash. And once you do slash, you will find these commands here. And all you want to find is search for table. Uh, and you'll be able to just go ahead and click on this one right here, which is uh, add a table. And then they're going to ask you how many rows and columns you want. So it's going to be four columns three rows for example and we can just go ahead and click on that it's actually just going to create it here for us so if you're not aware of the slash command just so we are clear on this the slash is pretty much this one right here so once you click on that if you click on the design and click on that it's actually going to show you all these commands so once you click on this and create a table, you'll be able to have your columns, your rows, and you had the option to choose how many columns you actually wanted. And if you want, you can actually go ahead and highlight a uh, column. Uh, and then you would want to be able to actually, if you right click on the right place, you can actually go ahead and add a column like so. So as you can see, we have an option to add a column and it's just adding another one here for us. Now in here, you can obviously feel free to add whatever you want. So by default, it's just going to be text. So just add the text needed. And you can feel free to do the same thing for the rest of them. Uh, size also is, you know, a factor that you can feel free to change however you like. And again, if you want to add or remove columns, you can feel free to do so. So now that we have uh this the first one out of the way this is pretty much the first one that we can do again just do slash table and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to create it but in, in the case that you don't want this or you want it to be a little bit um you know designed a little differently in that case you just want to go to the elements section and if you go to the elements section you will actually if you scroll down a little bit you will find the tables section here if you click on see all, you will see all the different tables that you can add, uh, different colors and stuff. So let's say we want to add this one here. As we can see, we can actually have our table. And if you want to add columns, you can just go ahead and click on the plus icon at the top. And you'll be able to add as many columns as you actually like. So just go ahead and hover over it. And the same goes for the rows, by the way. If you want to add rows, you just want to hover over the rows like so and you can feel free to add the uh, rows here so here i'm just going to delete this one and then we can just go ahead and again add whatever information we want in here so add the text needed so this is pretty much all there is to it you can feel free to add as many columns as you want with this or the slash command and create a table uh, both of both of which are actually going to work well for you so this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.